YouTubers, now we're going to talk about the reaction or stoichiometric reactions calculations involving volumes of gases. And the classic example that we're going to talk about is the reaction or reversible reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen to make ammonia. This is the Haber process. It's an important reaction which you will learn later on. Okay, let's just boil down to the uh, word problem that we have right now. Three cubic decimeters of hydrogen reacts with excess amounts of nitrogen, which is available in the air, to produce ammonia. What is the volume of ammonia produced? Well, first of all, let's write the balance equation like we always do. So we have hydrogen reacting with nitrogen to form ammonia. All right, let's balance this equation now. And when we balance the equation, we can see that it, from the balance equation, three moles of hydrogen will react with one mole of nitrogen to produce two moles of ammonia. Now, because this is a reaction of reacting volumes of gases, and we treated that all gases will occupy the same amount of volume at a given room temperature pressure. And because this reaction is conducted at a constant pressure temperature, in essence, we don't really need to convert the volume to moles and then using the mole-to-mole -mole ratio to find out how many moles of ammonia we've made to reconvert it back to the volume of ammonia produced. We just need to immediately assume that this means three moles or three cubic decimeters of hydrogen. Okay? So, in essence, we can treat this here to be three cubic decimeters of hydrogen. And because hydrogen and nitrogen has a three to one ratio, we can immediately say that we need one cubic decimeters of nitrogen and the ratio to ammonia is 3 to 2. And so we can say that we produce 2 cubic decimeters of ammonia. It is that easy.